गुड मॉर्निंग इन टूडेज क्लास आई विल गिव यू सम प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन मैग्नेटिक फोर्स दिस प्रॉब्लम्स आर टू बी सॉल्व यूजिंग द लॉरेंस फोर्स और आई कैन से दैट इन अदर वर्ड्स वेन इट इज ओनली द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड द फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन ए मूविंग चार्ज इज गिवन बाई या फिस क्यू वी बी साइन थीटा टेक डाउन द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम use the expression f is equal to use the expression f is equal to q into v cross b v cross b to define the si unit of magnetic field to define to define the to define the si unit of magnetic field si unit of magnetic field Use the expression F is Q into V cross B to de define the SI unit of magnetic field. Now here given F is Q into V cross B. Given. F is Q into P cross P, and we know the magnitude of F is Q into V B sine. Theta. Now we need to define the SI unit of magnetic field that is B. Now we will derive an expression for B from this equation. So from this we can write B as equal to F divided by Q V sine theta. Q V sine theta. B is equal to F divided by Q E sine theta. Now, if Q equal to one coulomb, and V equal to velocity equal to one meter per second, and if the charge is moving perpendicular to the magnetic field, that is, the angle between V and B is ninety degree. If theta is ninety degree, then sine theta becomes one. Then in this equation, if you substitute everything, we get then B is equal to F. B is equal to F. So now by applying the unit, I can say that you know B is. One newton divided by one coulomb into one meter per second into sine ninety. That is one. Or this will become equal to one. The unit is newton second per coulomb. meter or sometimes i can write it as newton divided by ampere meter because s by c is ampere the unit is newton second per coulomb meter or this is also known as tesla t 
Tesla or the symbol as T. Newton second per coulomb meter Tesla. This magnetic field induction at a point is said to be 1 Tesla. If a charge of 1 coulomb moving at right angles to a magnetic field with a velocity of 1 meters per second experiences a force of 1 newton at that point. Yep, the magnetic field induction at a point is said to be 1 tesla. Tesla. If a charge of one coulomb coulomb, if a charge of one coulomb while moving at right angles to a magnetic field. magnetic field with a velocity 1 meter second with a velocity 1 meter per second experiences a force of 1 newton at that point. The magnetic field induction at a point is said to be 1 tesla if a charge of 1 coulomb while moving at right angles to the magnetic field with a velocity 1 meters per second experiences a force of 1 newton at that point. This is how we can define the SI unit of magnetic field. Now next you take down a proton is next question a proton is moving along positive x axis along positive x axis positive x axis in the presence of a uniform magnetic field positive x axis in the presence of a in the presence of a uniform magnetic field uniform magnetic field along positive y axis along positive y axis what is the direction of the force acting on it acting on it A proton is moving along positive x axis in the presence of a uniform magnetic field along positive y axis. What is the direction of the force acting on it? Now we know when a charged particle is moving in the presence of a magnetic field ex experiences a force. Now here given, given proton is moving along positive x axis given proton is moving along positive x axis therefore I can write 
the velocity of the proton v is equal to v is equal to v into unit vector along positive x axis that is i unit vector i because along x axis also given the magnetic field is acting along positive y axis the magnetic field b is can be written as equal to b into j unit vector j because field is directed along positive y axis positive y axis now it is a proton so q is anyway equal to q itself plus q itself i can take q is equal to plus e because it is proton force is given by f is the force acting on proton f is equal to q into v cross b now this is equal to e into v is v into i cross b into j or this can be written as equal to e into v into v into i cross j and you know i cross j is k therefore folks acts along plus z direction k we got so therefore force acts along plus z direction the force is acting along the positive z direction